Mmm. 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 These fish. These fish. These goldfish, man. I'm addicted to them now. <coughs> the cheddar jalapeno. They're so good. And once you start, you can't stop. Hey, welcome back to the stream. Or to the Pokemon playthrough. It has been a whole day for you people on uh, YouTube. But on here, it has been like five minutes. I don't know. Excuse me. What's that? Can't stop playing these two things together. Okay, hold on. Oh, the, the, the squirrel spinning around. <laughs> nice. And it's, it's spin me right round. Yep. I had a feeling. I'm not. Pl I'm not playing that because that'll. That's that's gonna be vod. Vod mute city. If I play even a second of that. Which flavor of goldfish? Megabytes cheddar jalapeno. Uh, we got a bag a couple weeks ago, and some people didn't like it. I loved it, so they got me more, and I'm like, sweet, sure. They're both right here, perfect. Vivalon, you're mine. So apparently this is the only form of Vivalon that you could catch in the game, though all of them are programmed into it. So you could transfer over others, but apparently getting them is limited to just this pattern. Another one. I need more. Now that I've started eating them, I can't stop. I, like, suck the, the jalapeno powder off of it. Vivian. The V young, yeah. I mean, it originated in, in Kalos, so forgive me for thinking it's 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 not a uh, a, a Y L situation, double L Y situation. I don't know, but you know what? I should because I know of, of you know Papillion. I knew that. I actually learned that word from Persona 3. That's the name of, um, Igus' heart, uh, program or whatever. It was the Papillion, the Papillon heart. The patterns on this Pokemon depend on the climate and topography of the land it was born in. This form is from a mysterious land. Fancy pattern. I had all the patterns. I had most of them. I think there were a few event ones I didn't get, but I did get the Pokeball pattern. I haven't even seen Spupa yet. Power of music. A lonely mint. Why is the game chugging so hard? Sandstorm pattern was pretty hard to get. I can't remember how to get the different patterns in uh, X and Y. Use your location settings on an interna international stage. Oh. Alright, so... If I want to finish this by tomorrow night, I have to kind of start making a beeline for the remaining areas. I have about two hours. Maybe two... Maybe I could pull off two and a half from this point. Um, so that should be more than enough time to get to the remaining two gyms. But I don't know if I'll be able to finish that storyline tonight. Because if I... I don't know if this is how it works, but given that I can... Given that I was able to finish Arvin's storyline completely before he brought up the whole, like, endgame thing, 
Uh, I'm, I'm led to believe that's going to be the same for the other pads as well. Which means I'm most likely going to be able to be fight the Elite Four and become a champion-ranked trainer uh, without without actually beating the game. If the other, if any of the other storylines are still happening, it's going to be like, oh, okay, you you beat it and you're a top-ranked trainer, but you're not the best. Just going by what just going by what I assume the game is going to do is it's going to um, it's going to make me fight the Elite Four after the interview, and then it's going to make me fight Nimona as, as the champion fight. And then after I beat it, I'll get the champion rank. And then what'll happen is Nimona will be like, what? You and Arvin need me to go to Area Zero? Okay, I'll go wait there for you two. And then I have to get Penny from uh, this, this storyline. Bow to the power of music! And I'm assuming, I'm assuming what'll happen is once I've finished all three storylines and do whatever's in Area Zero, then what's her name? The top champion will be La Primera. Uh, will be like, hey, you said you you did amazing. You you finished all these storylines. Fight me and become the top champion, and that'll be like the true final boss of the game, or of the main story. You become a double champion. <laughs> That's what I'm assuming. As opposed to a uh, black and white, where the game actually ended without you becoming champion. The game, that, that gets interrupted, and you'll become champion until the post-game. Maybe I should worry less about the power of music and more about the power of my team. I wish that the change position thing was, was... Like, you didn't have to do this for every single thing. Beautiful. Anyway, torch it. Sandstorm pattern is found throughout the Middle East and Turkey only. Wow. Then you have the friggin' Wonder Trade and, and Brilliant Diamond where you just select a point on the map every time you use it. Very silly. Please don't crit. There we go. Friend ball. Tundra pattern Vivalon has been found in the Hokkaido region of Japan, Norway, and Iceland. Wow, first try. Nice. 32% of the time, it works 100% of the time. This Pokemon uses its ribbon-like feelers to send a soothing aura into its opponents. Erasing their hostility. We call it the Egg Cracker. Flesh feelers, yeah. Alright, let's put you in your special box. No, why'd I do that? Fuck. Every time. Not much has happened. Oh, how, how long have you been gone? I beat the fairy base. So 
weird that it still plays the sound afterwards. What? Oh, yeah. Do I not? I don't have that yet, do I? Nope, I don't. You don't know, honestly. Uh, well, I'm technically doing a second stream now. I, like, cut the stream into two pieces. We sliced the stream, Jerry! Yes, Sylveon, the true trans icon. I mean, it's got the colors and everything. Look at that friggin' Floatzel. It's adorable, chunky little haunches. They normally inhabit rocky seashores, but in times of continuous rain, they could sometimes be found in the mountains far from the sea. Pink is in this game. I did get, I did see the pink for both forms, I, for both Pokemon, I believe. Boyfriend and I came here for a picnic, but I guess I got some free time to battle you. Where's your boyfriend? Did he drown? Jimena. Oh. It's the bird, yeah. Oh yeah, and if you if you you'll be interested in this. I got another bag of the uh, jalapeno uh, goldfish stuff. Spicy. Just the right amount of spice. It, like, doesn't hurt. Oh, how exciting. Which, I mean, for me, that's not a lot, because I like ultra spicy, but... It's still pretty good. Honestly, who goes on a picnic for a date? Aren't picnics for kids? I mean, you want to go picnicking right next to, like, a military... A child... A child military base... Got real Metal Gear vibes going on here. What the? Oh. These are all f flabby bees. Ooh. It's good coughs, yeah. I think I've been in this cave already, because when I swam around here before, I went in here. Yeah, there's a Pomo. And just some other Pokemon. Yeah, I'm not really interested in any of that. Ow. Anytime I hear the word, anytime I hear Flabebe, like see that Pokemon's name, I think, th didn't Vinny used to know someone from his stream called like Babby B or Babby B, Babby B or something like that? 
Because I always remember him saying that in, in one of the Animal Crossing videos. And that always comes to mind whenever I see Flabebe. Ooh, big pearl, nice. Hope this goes well. I came here for a picnic with my girlfriend. I'm so nervous. Help me calm my nerves. Oh, there's the boyfriend. Stefan. Oh, it's 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 the buff the buff imp. That thing's Gigantamax form in Sword and Shield was so weird looking. It looked it just looked like a human. I'm still so nervous. That was such a big step. Is a picnic too much too fast? Can't wait to hang out with my girlfriend. Just making sandwiches and relaxing together. I haven't made a sando on stream in a while. That chorizo, yeah. Or my or my seasoned sausage, as I now have it. Because I have so many of them. Oh, you mean in real life? Yeah. I'll see. Maybe maybe I'll find some in uh when I'm in Chicago. Then again, we're not really going food shopping. I don't know why, but I'm just so like I'm excited. I'm excited to go, but like, I don't know, I guess because there's just so much I haven't done, I haven't packed yet, I haven't, uh, I haven't set up the, the ride to the airport yet, I need to do that tonight, before I go to bed. I mean, it's just an Uber, that's all I'm doing. Weasels down there. It's weird when you get like two herds that like spawn on top of each other. You have a new bag, right? A new bag. What was wrong with my old one? The one I was using was fine, wasn't it? Oh, it had all the plastic in it, that's right. Yeah, no. I, I think that's all still there. I mean, I have a bunch of bags that I could use instead. I just don't know. I need a new job. I need no job. I want to quit my job. Working at the Pokemon Center near here would be more fun than my current job. Esther Elhas? No, that was Esther, excuse me. Such an unusual name for like a Super Robot Wars protagonist, Esther. It sounds like such an old fashioned name. Gah, gotta go heal my Pokemon. Kids like you must keep the workers of the Pokemon Center busy all the time. All the Pokemon here are all that, like... special. Oh, there's a there's belly bolt. This is actually where I caught the belly bolt. I caught it by the beach. Such beauty. Only to be marred by ugly piles of junk. I can't stand it. 
Desiree. I have to see how I want to handle the luggage this time because um, I usually check my bag. And because of that, I usually check my bag and I have a carry-on. Like a, like a personal item. A small bag. But technically if I'm checking a bag, then that means I could also bring a carry-on item with me. Which could be another bag to put in the overhead. So I could I should see if I should if I can bring more than one bag with me. I usually try to keep it in one just to keep it light, but the problem is if I bring any part of my fursuit with me, I'm probably well, the feet and the tail I usually fit in the bag, but the uh the if I want to bring the head with me. Actually, if I want to bring the head with me, I could just bring that separately and put that in the overhead. Ha. Maybe I will do that. I don't have my full suit yet still. Most of my full suit is still at my friend's house. But the feet, tail, and head are here. Sorry, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have taken my frustration out on you. Is that one of those Team Star bases? I guess they must have put a lot of effort into building it. I f f this fucking gold duck. This is the fourth time tonight that this thing has done that to me. I hate Golduck. I hate you. Okay, I think that's all the trainers in this area, so... And that's all of the non-snow part explored. Leaf Storm. Nice. Where is the, uh... Oh, where's the gimme goal here that I keep hearing? keep getting junk shit on uh, Twitter now in my DMs. I mean, I was always, I've always been getting that, but it's been getting really bad lately with the uh, with the, the spam DMs and shit. Yeah. The fuck is this thing? Oh, it's right there. Wondering why I was making so much damn noise. Let me show you. Okay. I want to show you the... Uh, before before we actually go up there, I want to show you the, the path that leads up here from the, from the cave. Because I had no idea about this. So you're able to climb the mountain from the outside, which has like six different paths to get up there. But there's also a path that goes through the mountain from, from the Zapico, Zapapico town. And it confused me, because when I was running up this path, it, sp it splits into two. And it's like, left, um, yeah, Glacidio Mountain Path, and right to Medali. And I'm like, why is Medali to the right? That seems like I'm moving farther away from it. But then I see there's like a big cave entrance there. go into this cave. There's also a path over there, but it just kind of loops around to the other side of the, uh, the area. And when you come out in the middle of this cave, there's just a Pokemon Center in, like, this big ravine with this huge path that leads up into the mountain. I thought this was so cool. And if you keep going this way, it's just another short path that leads to over to Med where Medali is, which I purposely did not go down last time I was over there. 
Because I was like, oh, I'll go down that way later. But instead you get this awesome, like, inside area. That loops around, and even has, like, a shortcut back down if you want to take it. Like, this leads back into the cave I was just in. But I thought it was so cool, there's, like, essentially, like, a Pokemon Center in a, in a cave. It's And it's got- it's not really a cave, too, it's a ravine, because you can, like, jump down to it from above if you're on the mountain. I'm like, that's cool. More- more architecture and geography like this, and less just, like, open fields, yeah. I guess kind of like Mount Moon, but it's- it's not really, like, the- the Pokemon Center itself is in the mountain. Like, look, if I go around this way... Why is it leading me that way? Did I set a, a waypoint? Oh yeah, it's still set to over there for some reason. But yeah, if you go this way... You can actually jump straight down into the ravine where the Pokemon Center is down at the bottom. Which is really cool. I thought that was like a really neat like bit of geography here. Uh, Magnemites. I don't need them anymore. God, they look so weird with that new tech. I love it, but it's like so unusual to see them like legitimately like shiny all over. Not as a shiny Pokemon, just shiny. I fought most of the trainers around here in the grassy spots. Again, I didn't go up to any of the snowy areas. There is a path over here that leads up, though, and I'm wondering if it leads closer to here. Lasiato, gym leader, Grusha, a.k.a. the Sub-Zero Shredder. This ice-type user, once a renowned snowboarder, was forced to retire from the sport due to a grievous injury. His formerly fire passion now remains locked away beneath a thick, icy shell. Uh, let me get back over here, actually. Yeah, because they were matte in the past games. We're not used to so much shine, yeah. Well, there was also no texture work. I mean, I guess there was in, in the 3D games, but... I thought I explored all this, but I clearly saw a, a spot that I didn't go to because there were items I picked up. I do like the small changes made in Pokemon over time. I wish some of them they kept, though. Yeah, like the old, sh like the Gen 2 Shinies. Rip Purple Charizard. It's cool that Smash still uses that, though. Where's the path that goes up? There's a path over here somewhere. That leads, like, upwards. Might be down here. Yeah, there it is. So this path leads, like... There's two diversions to it. A lot of examples I can think of from those two gems. Remember when Charmander had spikes on its back? No, I don't remember that. I, like, actually don't remember that at all. Yodale hee hoo Wah, who are you? 
Max the student. Gen 1 coughing, where the uh, skull and crossbones is above its face instead of below it. That always weirded me out. Or Executor, have, or execu Execute, how the middle egg was like giant in, in Gen 1. No, really, who are you? Can I just swap held items? No, you can't. So weird. Why do they like remove those that? You could do that really quickly. Wow, I complete I didn't I don't think I've ever seen that. Like I've seen that image of Charmander before, but did they like edit the spike out in some in some sort some like versions of that image? Because I don't ever remember seeing that. I like how you could yodel a hee hoo up here and get a yodel a hee hoo right back. You know what I'm saying? I wonder who's doing the responding. <laughs> oh, what is this? A third path opens. Okay, well that looks like a path forward. It's got a bridge and everything. Let me head back this way. Yeah, no, I don't remember that spike at all. What the hell? It's like some Berenstain Bear shit going on here. <gasps> Look, a, sp a, sp a stake. Nice, and it's a blue one. So there's one more, there's got to be one more yellow one, or one more green one. I don't know how many blue ones we got, and I think purple we have at least one more chain left too, so. But it looks like the stakes or whatever's clo closest to it, which means that I've probably missed the purple one. I've been to where it is and I probably haven't seen it. It's visible on the original sprite. Oh, yeah, I know that. The little ridge. I just never really put it together, those are spikes. Remember how many, you know, remember how many Pokemon gained, uh, toes between generations? I want to be a hiker. Hikers are so great, free and strong and cool. I bet they have microwaves in their homes. Bulbasaur's original colors. The bulb was a different color, right? Being strong and free is tough. Sounds are dangerous, huh? Maybe I'll head to the forest instead. Can you not stand right on top of me? Why do Pokemon gotta do this, just to annoy me? Also, 
also not a fan of how many, how, like, because I had, I was, oh, look, there's Rev of Room. There's the actual Rev of Room over there. I've caught one already, but. There it be. Oh, it's someone from school. It's kind of embarrassing bumping into your schoolmates outside of school, huh? Yeah, it is. I should put on my... I, I said this before. I should put on the winter gear. Alma, the student. Hello? It's hitting the button. Oh, it's like blue in the original game. I never noticed that. You found my amulet coin. What are you going to do about it? You have to give me double money now. Not even more embarrassed. I hate running into people I know when I'm out and about. It's weird, I know. Let me go ahead and uh, put the winter uniform on. Maybe time to change up some stuff too. Let's put a. Uh, let's put the uh, poke H case on. Change our glasses here. Actually, no. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put on a helmet. Which one do I really like? Let's keep the let's put that racing helmet on. Wait, what? Why is hitting B? Can't, mm. Hitting B should just be I'm not done. Fucking hell, man. Make your menus make sense, damn it. hand gloves on here. No, let's put the low key. Let's, let's keep this one on. Also, I gotta change my phone thing again. There we go. Still cold. Jigglypuff's eyes were originally blue and art, red, blue, and yellow, but were aqua and blue, green, and R R R G. Uh -huh. Oh god, flying cars! Weavile? Oh shit.
This is when they haven't gotten some of the designs down yet. Like you said, you wish they kept them. Well, yeah, I was also a different artist at the time. The, the sprite artist and the uh, regular artist weren't the, the same people. There's that mad lad who put an unauthorized Pokemon in the OG games. Uh, yeah, Mew was kind of added without testing. made it even more devious. It communicates by drawing claws and sign clawing signs into boulders. Gremlin. <laughs> Dang lucky it didn't break the game, but we started Legends of the Plague. Yeah. It was under the truck the whole time. Celebration your achievement, please take this lure ball. Wait, has a lure ball even work in this game? So what different Pokeball is more effective on catching Pokemon in or on the water? Oh, so it's the same as a dive ball now. And dive balls don't work the same way either, because there's no diving. On your on the playground was rumor was Pokemon brown and pink. Oh, that's weird. Oh shit. This puts us in the North Province. Okay, well let's unlock the uh, Pokemon Center while we're here. Then I'll come back up here. I briefly came to this area from another spot. I think over there in the distance where those shiny peaks are. And I grabbed like one item and then I bolted from here. Well, there weren't much Pokemon fans to be found. You got made fun of for liking Pokemon. That sucks. It's kind of like a weird thing with Pokemon where it was like super uncool for a while. And then when, you know, after a certain point people were just like, wait, it's, it's actually pretty good. Why are, we, why are we getting upset at this? Like, it was popular for fad reasons when it came out. Then most kids were like, yeah, fuck this. And they, and they you know, because other kids didn't want to move on to some other shit, they get made fun of. But after a while, people were like, oh, the series is still going. It's actually pretty good. Okay, I don't want to get caught up exploring this area. I already don't want to explore the the mountain right now, but I have to go there.
Uh, we defeated one trainer in the north area. Okay, so that must have been the one on the mountain. Excuse me. Sell Stardust, Pearl, Big Pearl, Rear Bone. 9,000. How many uh, Gimme Ghoul coins do I have right now? 662. Okay, so I still got a few more to go. Before I can evolve another one. A million, no. You can't hold more than 999. And that's how many you need to evolve it. Candy. White snow all around. White snow all around. I crossed paths with a school kid. So I have no idea how much it meant for you to trade and battle with me. Really? I mean, that's... I'm glad you enjoyed it. Hiker Nancy. We'll battle again someday. I know we will. And we'll do it more than just once. Lure balls out of five times multiply on sun and moon. Dive balls out of times three. Ah. That makes sense considering how much rarer lure balls are. A bitter defeat. I'm just surprised. It means a lot to me that you felt that you feel that way. I came here to compose haiku, but only wintry verses are springing to mind. Fuck these. Go away. Now I have an all-new reason to hate these. They, they gang up on me. Never anyone do so, just you and yourself. It was a moment. Aw. To be honest, I don't battle that often. With others. Wait, is this another path? It is. Okay. Known that thing was right there too. Such an annoying thing. Third, and the Great Leon. Do so you want to hear about how all the power in my house went out today? Well, not all the power. What happened was, um, we had someone over to help install a light fixture. And, uh, <coughs> they switched off the fuses to a bunch of rooms in the house without telling me. Without warning us. So I had no power for, like, a little bit.
seed bomb. If there's someone that needs the power for their medical stuff, explain that. I mean, yeah, that's... I mean, that's a different story. That's a completely different story, though. Roselli Berry. Okay, when well, I'm back down here, where I don't want to be... Elon Berry. There's multiple towers over there. And ruins. I've been down to those islands already. That are off the coast. Mmm, calcium. Mmm, full restore. Ooh. No. Oh my god. Stop. Just drop, please. Drop. There we go. Revive. Excuse me. Ah, wait a minute. Nope, never mind. This leads to a completely different area. Kasib Berry. Max Potion. Shard. I know that cry. Wait, which cry? That was Gallade. Wait, what? Where? Where's the Gallade? Let's see it. How was that? Was that the whole lucha right there? <gasps> There's a Glalie. Mm. Really? Angry Ice Ball. Come on, Frost Last went down easy. Why couldn't you do that? Other oh, quarters are Magnezone. I already have one of those. Magnazone are actually very common around the Great Crater. If you climb up uh, the walls, you could find Magnazone and uh, and Garchomp up there. And Garchomp flies, which I didn't realize they could do. Yeah, ever since... Cause, oh, wait, so ever since Sword and Shield, because of how the open areas work, they often will just throw fully evolved Pokemon out there. I mean, even Legends Arceus, if you saw, there were a lot of, like, Stage 3 Pokemon just out in the wild. There were wild Gudra in some parts. Let's 
no rent fur. Its prey is instantaneously, fr instantaneously frozen by the stiff air it exhales from its huge mouth. While they're in that frozen state, it gobbles them up. What the fuck happened to this goddamn headset? Why did it have to do this? It, like, got tangled beyond belief. Like, I didn't do anything. How does this happen? Can't stand this, because now I can't move. Stop putting phone cord cabling in your in your headsets, please. I'm gonna work our butts off just to get a full on Evo in five, yeah. Yeah, remember how Haxorus was like the post-game gift special Pokemon in uh in in black and white? and the Nature Preserve, or whatever it was. Nineties modem noises. Three TMs, huh? Frenzy Plant. Blast Burn. Hydro Cannon. It's the- it's the Ultra Moves. Well, I haven't been down there yet, but I kind of don't want to go. I've been on the islands. I haven't been on the beach. I really need to stop exploring and get on with things. I only have another hour and a half to stream. Me, 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 ma, 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 ma. Glaciado Mountain has such nice fresh air. I could sing so well up here. Me, me, me. <laughs> oh man, I'm so easily amused. Okay, wait. Yo, what up? That's all for me. Oh, I struck that note beautifully. Okay, I'm sorry. I love fucking around with that. I just wish I could hear myself without it echoing on stream. Because then I forget to go back and listen to it afterwards. I cause an avalanche if I sing too loudly, huh? <laughs> it's just what, it's exactly what you just said. Bah? Yeah, sure. I like how it cuts off, too. It never finishes. up while bull transport at your service let's say we have a quick battle hey thank you now we need that thing with the boss sound and sausages boss sound and sausages 
You mean that egg-like game? The fantastical game or whatever it's called? Because whenever you pick, yeah, whenever you talk to one of the balls, it would go, bah. The sausage clip is from Freddy Got Fingered, which is an awful, awful movie, and I would absolutely recommend watching it if you want to lose a considerable amount of brain cells. I guess I wasn't wild enough. That yellow thing entertains me and you don't know why. Yellow thing? Oh, the, the thing that goes ba. Wild Bull Transport is a Taurus is our mascot. Need goods delivered? Our Taurus strength muscles will get you there. Why do Pokemon have to stand on top of me? But I'm trying to have a conversation. I don't fucking stand on you when I'm talking to your friggin... When I'm trying to catch your, your brother or whatever. I don't come down to Burger King and tell you how to do your job. My brother had an impossible whopper recently, and he said it was uh, it was very good. And I'm like, hmm, I will have to be the judge of that at some point. Damn it! I don't mind I don't mind bean burgers. Impossible sub meats are good though. Ah. Uh -huh. I know everyone ragged on the impossible chicken because it just looks gross, but it's like... Well, of course it's gonna look weird, but the taste and texture is what's important. To the Glissadio Gym. Ah. Interesting, I was gonna head left. But I guess all roads lead to the inevitable. If I didn't know it was an impossible burger, I would have said it would have beef. No joke. It, no, no, I've, I've been... I've had that same... I've had that same situation happen. I've had... I've had a bean burger. So my company, back when I was still in my old position, we had like a... We had like a booze cruise day where we all went on like a, a little... It was like a little boat that went around the Bay Area of between New York, New York and New Jersey. And... You know, it was like free drinks, free food, and it was an impossible burger. Not really an impossible, it was like homemade bean burger. Because it was like a, it was like a hand, it was like a guy with the, a grill on the, but why can't I grab this? There we go, fly. And I didn't know, I didn't know it was like a bean burger until I ate it, and I was like halfway done with it, and then I looked at it, and I'm like, that's not meat inside this burger. It's like mashed up beans, and I'm like, this is amazing, it tastes and looked like, everything about it was perfect. It looked like a burger from the outside, it tasted like a burger, and it was juicy like a burger. We've tried, we've bought, like, veggie bean burgers at home before, and they were, they're disgusting. They're, like, dry, they have, like, whole beans in them instead of crushed up beans, and it's like, ugh, that's not good. It's nothing like an actual burger, and I want to know what they did to make this burger, because to this day, it's still, like, Morningstar is pretty good. I don't remember if that's the brand I got. I just remember not liking it. Like, I was tolerating it for a while, and then I was like, ah, I'm not really feeling this. It's not that good. What the? Oh, it's Glaceon. The lighting made me think it might have been shiny for a second. See, this is the problem. They shouldn't be making shinies that are like one, sh one hue off of, uh, existing ones. Like, please make the color different enough that I know at a glance it's a shiny. Careful there, young one. You ought to be more careful. There's no shortage of strong trainers in these parts. Just like me. Now I'm going to beat you to death. Homelander looking ass. I'm going to indulge in one more can of drink. That's actually all the ones I have in there. I might just leave it empty and turn it off now instead of uh, Wednesday. 
I suppose none of the other trainers were as strong as you. Oh my god. These headphones. Why do you do this? Every time I look away, you don't hear me say, Please, oh baby. Don't go. There we go. Fixed it. Oh, I left a condensation ring on my, uh, desk. A weak trainer can never make it up here. I apologize for judging you prematurely. I'm so sorry. Please take my life savings. Fucking no. Fuck off. No. Look. Say what you will about Kingdom Hearts. Utada? Amazing. Amazing singer. And they're non-binary. They came out as non-binary a few years ago. I still get fun. Of, I still get fun. Made fun of because it's song. Oh, because because you saw the ad originally. Oh. I mean, back then I didn't know what the fuck Kingdom Hearts was. I was like Disney, and eh, I'm feeling this. And I wasn't into Final Fantasy at the time either, so I'm like, eh, I have no interest in this whatsoever. All right, how many trainers do I have to fight? 21 trainers. Okay, never mind. I think I've earned the prize here. Blizzard. One rare bone. What does a skeleton use to call their family? A skelebone. <laughs> Are there no... Is this not a town? Hold up. This isn't a town. There's just a gym here. <laughs> yeah, it's not even a town. It's just Monte... It's just the Glacetti... Glaciato gym. I was thinking Bone Phone. I don't have a cryogonal yet. I fought one in battle. I never caught one. Look at all these Pokemon cheering me on. Fuck. Why is it only level 34? You're under a special weather statement? What happened? What is it? Blizzard? Caution. Fog and icy roads, huh? That's just called living in Pennsylvania. Cryogonal appear during cold season. It's said that people in Pokemon who die in snowy mountains are reborn into this Pokemon. Imagine being a Pokemon, dying and coming back as a fucking snowflake. But still being subjected to being caught. Look at this. Look how cute this is. This is so bizarre, so there's no town. This is just a gym.
The entire mountain is the town. Hey, I heard the good news. Congrats on beating on gym badge number six. Not even a tenth of the trainers who take on the gym get this far, you know. But I'm not surprised that you made it. I just knew there was a reason you caught my eye. Thanks. Oh, please, I should be the one thanking you. Anyway, I bet you could use a little warming up before you take on the gym, huh? Come on, you know the drill by now. I mean, it is cold out there. Ta-ta-ta-chan! Ta-ta-ta-chan! Here's our battle court for today. Okay, right? Mm-hmm. Always important to check what environment your Pokémon will be battling in. Freezing cold. Battlefield can have these teensy effects on your Pokémon's balance and stuff, you know? Anyway, sort of... Uh, sorry I sort of dragged you here, but a little pre-gym warming up should do you some good. Come on, Michael. Let's have a fruitful battle. I believe the gym challenge here is one of the, is one of the few that I could redo once I've beaten it. Show me the battle skills that you got you six badges. A woo! Oh, a woo indeed. Stung, but you're not the only one who could hit hard when it counts. Palmot. Oh, I haven't seen this one yet. Apparently, in order to get this one, you have to have Palmo walk around a lot and do auto battles. I don't quite know how that works, though. But there it goes. Is it even good? I don't know. Sligu? Weed Cat. Trading attacks on the brink of winning or losing gives me chills. Let's see who gets the win. Here comes the fun part. Time to make this Terra Orb shine. Ready. This move's gonna hit with the force of all my training. What a beaut, yeah. I knew I was right to believe in you. That's an L for me. Man, you've gotten so good. I think that should be enough of a warm-up. You and your Pokémon should be all set to battle now. Here, take these as thanks. Three max potions. Nice. There's just two gyms remaining. Then all that's left is to try out to be a champion. Give it all you got. Let's get back. Let's get you back to the gym lobby. I'm gonna kill Meow Meow because I need to win. Two left. Welcome to the Glaciado Gym. Let me register you as your challenger. Um, um. Your name is Michael, yes? 
Great, now in order to face Gym Leader Grusha, you'll first need to pass the gym test. Here at the Glacidio Gym, mm -hmm. Glaciado Gym, that means doing the Snow Slope Run. Ride a Pokemon down the designated course and try to reach the goal within the time limit. To start your test, just head out of the gym and go up the slope to your left. We'll fill you in the details there. Now get out there and have fun. You like it better outside? You know, Grusha is here at the Glissadio Gym. He's as good as they come. Not just as a snowboarder, as a gym leader, too. Should we start out again? Okay, legs all rested. Try the snow slope run. Siri needs a soup story, yeah. The soup is only for P Pokemon gym employees. Hey there, I've been, wait we've been waiting for you. This is where the snow slope run starts. Your task is to ride a Pokemon all the way down this course. It's like a slippery, slippery, slidey nature trail. Reach the finish line within the target time and you'll have passed the test. So, ready to attempt the gym test by taking on the snow slope run? I'm ready to go. Let's get this test started then. Enjoy the winter wonderland on your way down. We orange islands now. But where are the pink Pokemon then? Take on the snow slope run. Oh, look, I have to slalom. Got a minute 30 to do this. Oh, I'm actually sliding. Okay. Race. I wanted to stream Wave Race 64. At some point, I'm going to do it. I've already played the, the N64, the NSO version on normal and hard, but I need to do, like, expert. That's seriously it? Wow, 40 seconds. Yeah, I think this is the one, this is the last one that I could redo, along with the Olive Push that I didn't show off on stream. Congratulations on completing the run. That was some of the best sliding I've ever seen. Almost like watching Grusha in his prime again. Oh, you obviously passed the gym test with flying colors. Go let the receptionist know. Wow, that was, a uh, incredibly easy. Great show on the slopes, Michael. You finished the snow slope run, no problem. And you know what that means? You've cleared the gym test. Way to go. You've now earned the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. Do you want to face the Sub-Zero Shredder himself, Gym Leader Crusha? Very well, allow me to show you to the battle court. It's a shame. This this test was probably the most fun one, most unique. I would have loved for that to be longer. I'm probably smiling under there. There you are. Ugh. I'm freezing. I take it you're a challenger? The name's Grusha. I used to be a snowboarder. I used to be a pro, actually. Now I'm a gym leader. I saw you on the slopes. Your skills. Yeah, they were pretty cool. But don't go... Don't let that go to your head. Winter mountains are dangerous. They can throw your life right off course. Easy as that. Same thing with Pokemon battles, really. It's always the most dangerous when you're just starting to get the hang of things. 
today's not a great day to face me, you know. You're better off giving up. You sure you want to battle me? No, uh, uh, I'm not sure now. You bet. Still trying to act cool, huh? That's too bad. Well, this is my job now, so don't take what I'm about to do to you personally. Get ready to feel the icy bite of reality. Grusha! Don't say I didn't warn you. It's not my fault if you get overwhelmed. Air slosh. Bear tick. To be honest, I'm a little over leveled at this point. I think most of my Pokemon are gonna sweep. It's a Titan. Oh, here we go. We finally get to see the evolved form. Gonna be dragon flying in ice. You're not just talk, I see, but you're still one false step from a steep fall. Moo, yeah. Battles are like mountains in winter. The situation can change in a heartbeat. Often confused lasts this long for me. One and done. Nice. You melted straight through my eyes. burning passion you have. You strive for the future. 
no matter what challenges you face. Just like how I used to be. Oh, never mind. I should give you your gym badge. Don't break your leg, okay? Oh, you want to get a photo together to commemorate your win. Come on, that's... That's so uncool. I don't usually do that sort of thing, but... Okay, fine. Special occasion. Oh, they're doing, like, the heart. Heart together with the Pokeball. So you can't see the funny expression I'm probably making under there, though. I hate that. I need to take that helmet off. With seven gym badges, you should be able to catch Pokemon of up to level 55 more easily. They'll actually listen to you, too, which is nice. Oh, and before I forget, you should take this, too. Ice Spinner. User covers its feet in thin ice and twirls around, slamming into the target. This move's spinning motion also destroys the terrain. Should be a lot more useful than some silly photo of you and me. Feel free to stop by again, if you don't mind the cold, that is. Hell yeah. One badge from victory. Hey, hey, Rika here, at your service. These gems aren't really aren't giving you too much trouble, are they? Rika, Rika! Huh? Oh, right. You two haven't met yet, have you? This young man is Michael. He's good with Pokemon. Even La Primera's taken an interest in him. Oh, wow, wow. But, but I think the Pokemon on Team Poppy are really strong, too. Like, really strong. Which one of you is stronger, do you think? Well, um... I'm one of the Elite Four, so I'm more amazing. Really? Let little kids be Elite Four? Well, I guess they, they let Acerola be an Elite Four member in, in, uh, in, uh, Alola. And she was a little kid. <laughs> now, aren't you just adorable? I know it's hard to believe, but this tiny little one is indeed one of the Elite Four. Yeah, I am. I hope I get to show you my Pokemon soon, mister. So hurry up and come to the Pokemon League. It's where the, um, pinnacle. It's where the pinnacle of Pokemon battling happens. See you there. She's got like a lockbox on her neck. Hey, wait up. Well, you keep up the good work. You heard the kid. She's waiting for you. Wait, Poppy. Don't leave your Halrika behind. Ugh. Must butchered that. Congratulations. You're now certified by the Glaciato Gym. Oh, I got the final classes. So, what does that mean? So we know three of the Elite Four members now, right? Because R Rika's one of them, Poppy's one of them, and Mr. Hassel is one of them. And we know La Primera is, or, or what's her name, Gita? She's the top champion. That means we just need to learn who the last uh, Elite Four member is. Here we go. I hear you beat Grusha and earned yourself a gym badge. Way to go. Now don't you worry. You're still free to enjoy the snowy slopes here on Glaciato Mountain, even now that you've beaten the gym. Want to try your hand at the snow slope run? Your best times, eh? Let's see. That'd be 40.13 on the powder snow course. As for the blizzard course, you still need to complete that one. And as for the sheer cold course, yeah, you need to reach the goal before you can get a best time. Which course will you go for? Powder snow... Powder Snow Course it is. Have yourself an easy breezy glide down the mountain. I see. So there's going to be harder versions of this. So we've gotten 16 out of 17 badges now. Or out of 18.
Oh, I can hold B to go even faster. First time completing the powder snore course. Here, this prize is for you. Piece of never melt ice. Now you'll be able to take on the blizzard course when you feel up to it. Careful though, it's pretty tough. Copy that. Try to keep your focus sharp all the way down. All the way down. Nothing could stop you. You're all the way down. Oh look. We're starting from the the, the, the snow town now. Which is funny, because I, I haven't been there yet. <laughs> they warped me over to the snow town. Tumbling down, yeah. It's like the balloon challenges in uh, Legends Arceus. Actually, I don't think B makes you go faster. I think it just... If you go straight, you go faster, yeah. On the full run on the blizzard course for the first time. Now you're practically a pro. Hey, this prize is for you. Ice stone. Got like eight of those. Now you'll be able to take the sheer cold course, our toughest slope of all. Come back and give it a go if you dare. The sheer cold course, eh? Quite a challenge to be sure. Good luck out there, kid. You don't know what I'm capable of. Atlas, please put snowboard kids on NSO online. Or N N64 online. I will absolutely stream that game if either of them come to Switch. Especially two, because two is a story mode. Why two? Do you see that? Like two lagged there. <laughs> Oh, there's a trainer right there. That was what that glowing bit was next to the barrier. It's just that they're not visible while the course is going on. Ah, you get five seconds if you miss one. Okay. At least it's not a disqualification instantly. Turn hard enough. HD remake of Slalom. Hey, hey, Ephraim. Oh, that wasn't too bad outside in the mist gates. I wonder if there's a t like a strict time limit that you have to beat to get the prize from this. Or if I just get it by beating it. Legit want that. I just want them to port snowboard kids to the NSO service. You're a snow slope master now. 
Here, take this prize. You've earned it. Well, Comet Shard. Uh, that's all there is to it. I guess that's it. Ooh, what can I buy now? <gasps> Dust balls, finally! Oh, thank God. I buy, immediately buy 48 of those. Quick balls, let's buy another 10. Repeat balls, we're good at 40. I'll get net balls too, just because they can be useful sometimes. And I don't really give a shit about the rest. I'll sell that Comet Shard for 1250. 12 Remember when the berries used to be numbered? That was Gen 3, right? Why are some of these terror shards like at the bot? I, I still don't understand why these are listed like this. You would think all the terror shards would be in order. I can just do this. There we go. There we go. Much quicker. Hey, Magus, how you doing? Yes, it was. Jeez, I misplaced my eraser. Uh, hey, hello. Alright. I got... Probably shouldn't go to four, but I can go... Maybe, like, another 40 minutes or so. I really don't want to end tonight without, like, if I'm not completing a whole story, I at least want to get one of the last two spots done. There are many Pokemon you can only encounter through trades. Why not try trading with trainers from a different academy than your own? Hint, hint, the other version of the game. So there's just two more spots left. One, 17 and 18. Montenevera Gym Leader, Rhyme, a.k.a. the MC of R.I.P. This ghost-type user is among the very greatest. She's a legendary rapper who's performed around the world in her thrilling live shows Rattle the Bones with her devilish beats and double battles. Ooh, that's that's a neat gimmick. That's how they keep trading in character multiple... Yeah, because uh, Violet, it's Uva Academy instead of uh, Naranja. 10 out of 10. Just can't wait for the con... Nice, yeah... We're gonna be we're gonna be rooming together, which is cool. <laughs> Alright, I don't I don't wanna do this. But if I wanna if I if I wanna make sure I beat the story by tomorrow, I might have to like Severely limit the exploration here and just try to make a beeline. Paldea's highest peak, one of the ten sites of Paldea. Bravement. So that's what that looks like. So that big, that big landmass you see from that edge over there to over there, that's going up higher than the rest of the land, that's the DLC area. You can't climb that wall if you try hitting it. 
And you can't swim close enough to it, too, from down here. There's no way to get on it. And as far as I've been told, as far as I know, I don't think you could go there. I don't think you could go there in the post game either. Like, that's, I believe that's like a DLC region. If I had to guess, too, it's a giant cave. There's gonna be like a giant, it's, it's like all inside. You don't go outside at all. That's what I'm guessing. But, again. He ascend. See that mountain you could buy it? God damn it. Alright, now here's the question. If this was the tallest peak... Weird Mesa, Mesa would be fun, yeah. I mean, you could technically go on top of Mesa's here. There's the Great Crater over there. So if we know you could go into the Great Crater. Alright, wait a minute. Where's, um... Where is she? I could probably just jump right down there. Like, what if you went up there, it was full of Miltank, Tauros, Gogo, and it was the entire Wild West setting? That'd be pretty cool. But, I mean, we kind of already have the canyon in the desert. The mining area. Miltank would be good for, uh... For DLC, though. Since Miltank, I don't believe, is in this, in this uh, region. Sadly, I've already used... I think I've already used Miltank on my team, like, twice at this point. As much as I love using it... I don't believe it would be on my team. And before it's actually Kalos. Well, I mean... It would make sense ge geographically, since Kalos is, um... Since, you know, France is north of Spain, but... I don't know. Something tells me they're not too, uh... Not too... Concerned with being realistic. Duskstone. I mean, I called you, you know what, Pokemon dog thing. Wait, what? Oh, right. This is the battle court. You ever see, um, you ever watch Nick Arcade? And, uh, they had, like, their variation of Pong. And, like, the walls were, like, speakers. I, I don't think anyone's gonna know what I'm talking about. Have you ever seen one of Rhyme's concerts? Your music shakes you right down to your soul. The stage lights up purple for the gym test. It's so pretty. The gym leader here is used to be Time, but she retired a year and a half ago. Her sister Rhyme is the gym leader now. Oh! The, the teacher... So Time, the teacher... The math teacher. So we have a math teacher and a rap teacher. Ha ha ha. Clever. Watch Nick Arcade plenty. Yes, me too. I loved when those kids couldn't get 50 rings in Sonic 1, or Sonic 2's first stage. Electric terrain. It's so chilly. It's so warm. Oh, they're eating different things. Okay, maybe later. Everything tastes better when you eat it outside. Remember some showing a lot of Neo Geo titles. Really? I don't remember that at all. Ultimate class. You know about the ultimate class of sandwiches? They're called master sandwiches. And no one seems to know the recipes for them. Our wares are warming you right up. Still no new food. And I'm at the last town now, so... That's what gives. This makes me think of Snowboard Kids. Snowboard Kids 2 had a town... ...called, uh, Snow Town. And the aesthetic kind of makes me think of this. It also had really neat music. I want that one. Which one shall I have? 
Same five sandwiches. I thought they said the selection changes between towns. So far, I've never seen that. Ah, now that hit the spot. Maybe I'll order one more to go. Ah, uh, ice cube. When I'm eating with my ice cube, even the stuffiest room feels nice and cool. <laughs> when I'm kneeling down to talk to the Pokemon and just staring right past this dude. He's like, let me eat my sandwich in peace, you fuck. New recipes? Hell yeah. Delish. It's cold again today. I think I'll eat something spicy to warm me up. What new produce do you have for me? The answer is nothing. Oh, he sells herb sausage, though. Yeah, I have all this already. so weird how close these two gyms are to each other. You would think they would- because, like, this mountain has so much empty space. Like, you would think they'd, like, put the other gym, like, over here, and then one over here, and then the team star base is over there. It was before your time, even with reruns, yeah. Hey, I could put any Pokemon that's level 50 or higher through hyper training if you'd like. What do you say? When you want a Pokemon, want to go through hyper training? Maybe another time then. Yeah, no, I don't want to waste bottle caps right now. We'll worry about hyper training another time. But yeah, it's been reduced to level 50 instead of level 100 now, so you could do it much easier. Long, lest you have the bottle caps. No run. Isn't Snow White cute? Only females have a chance of evolving into Frostlass. It's so chilly. Pokemon are just too darn cute. Great. Canned response. Covert cloak. This sort of cloak conceals the whole. Whoa, 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 whoa. What was that? This hooded cloak conceals the holder, tricking the eyes of its enemies and protecting it from the additional effects of moves. You remember Figure It Out? Yeah. That was definitely later on in the uh, Nickelodeon game show uh, era. Joseph Atone was on episode 14 of Nick Arcade. Really? Life. His team didn't win. <laughs> Double Dare was the thing on your end. Nice. Double Dare was a lot around for a long time. The snow slope run is popular these days. You could try it on a Glaciato Mountain. It's terribly cold. Sure is. Monte Nevera is a town with lots of snow and lots of souls, but lately the concerts are a real draw, too. The fluttering snow, the flickering candlelight. Every day's like a festival here, don't you think? Hmm. Monte Nevera. This town just has multiple exits. Sushi High Roller. Wait, this is different. This is different. Like, this this isn't the same as the other ones, because this doesn't have images. Exclusive four-piece sushi frost set. Four pieces of nigiri sushi inspired by crisp frost. 
Oh, the guy that plays Mario? The store exclusive set was carefully selected by the chef. Again, if you do not if you did not know, uh new Mario trailer. Mario movie trailer in uh, 14 hours. Graupel set. Flower pieces of nigiri sushi inspired by soft grapple. The store exclusive set was made with all the skills of the chef. Nigiri, weird term. That's um that's like the sushi that's just the I think it's on it's just the rice with the sh with the fish on top of it as opposed to a roll. Hail set. Inspired by Stinging Hail, the store exclusive set is highly recommended by the chef. Four pieces of sushi inspired by Dick Sleet. This store exclusive set was made with all the chef's might. Consomme. This clear brought this chock full of umami. The store exclusive dish is a work of passion. I was like, what is that? And I'm like, oh, it's a Terra Crystal over there. <laughs> Chancy Supply. Uh, let's see. Nothing unusual here. They sell mints for 20000 each. Actually, that's pretty damn cheap now. With how much money I have. That's cool, so I could just change any nature at will here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twelve, sixteen. Here can also mean cut depending on the kanji, hence the puns with Zoro's Oni Kitty, Demon Cut, in One Piece. Yeah. Oh, look, and the Serious Mint gives you just one of the... It's just the even nature. So if you want to reset the nature to nothing, you can do that as well. That's cool. So they actually do keep a way to equalize it. In, 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 in the off chance that you'd really want to do that. The video games featured on Nick Arcade. Oh, awesome. I will check that out later. Okay. Well, it's 3.08. We have, um, decent amount of time left. And all I have to do is clear that gym to be where I want to be. Dealing with Fly. Eh. That being said, I really don't want to go explore here because, like, now I've kind of skipped around so much that, like, no matter where I go, it's going to be, like, big and confusing. I think what I'm going to do is just set some time off uh, while I'm away to just explore that giant chunk of land. <gasps> what? Wait a minute! Oh, never mind. I thought that was a shiny for a second. Somehow my brain, like, got really confused there. Term in the contest of a board game refers to deciding who goes first, essentially a coin toss. Shen Pao. Nope, never mind, that's its normal coloration. BB Narwhal here. Yeah. Wow, I, I don't know what the hell happened to me. I, like, freaked out there. I, like, legit thought that was shiny for a second. I'm happy that the one shiny I ran into so far was at least a shiny of a Pokemon that got a new evolution. the auto battles were a little more wieldy because it's very it's, they move very slow aiming them is kind of weird because they just run off even if they slightly miss a Pokemon 
prepare to become Ralts Dust. I mean, faster. I don't mind the speed of the auto battle. I think for what it does, it's fine. It's just that I'm not a fan of the fact that, like, the aiming with it is so weird. It doesn't work right. But it's also a good way to scope out shinies, because apparently auto battle, they will not auto battle shinies. So if you're unsure if a Pokemon is a shiny or not, and you don't want to run into it, you can always just send an auto battle out after it. I'll say from up here, eh, it's not that great. So beautiful. Dan Jones didn't all shinies run a Pokemon, even the starter. That wouldn't be possible in this game. Until you could get, until you could breed. Shinies are starter or starters are shiny locked. Michael! It's finally time for your last gym, right? I heard from Rika. But I'm zero percent worried about you. I know you got this. Even La Primera seems like she wants to keep an eye on you. Maybe I'll go find her so we can cheer you on when you battle the gym leader. So go have a battle that's fruitful for you and the crowd. Fruitful? Fruitful. Fruitful. I'm taking this damn helmet off. I love it, but it's I can't see my character's expression. All right, I got the Team Star hat. Now let's put the Joe. Let's put the Jotaro hat back on. It's nice and warm inside the gym. Wonder if any of Rhymes magazines are here. The Montanavera Gym Leader Rhyme specializes in Ghost-type Pokémon. You won't get anywhere if you try to take her on with normal or fighting types. Oh, there's Dreepy in the background. Welcome to the Montanavera Gym. Let me register you as a challenger. Your name is Michael, yes? Great, now in order to face the Gym Leader Rhyme, you'll need to first pass the Gym Test. Here at Montanavera Gym, that means warming up the audience for the main event. That's right, you're the opening act. Your job is to get on stage, show off some dead fierce Pokemon battles, and get the crowd excited before the Gym Leader's concert begins. You can start the Gym Test by speaking with MC Sledge out in the front stage. Now get out there and have fun. So it's just battling, okay. Hey, you opening act. Yo, trainer, you're the one performing the opening act today. My name's MC Sledge. This is the stage right here. So here's the deal. We're gonna have you do some double battles. That's where we have two Pokemon fight on each side. Sledge is in Sledgehammer. <laughs> yeah, I guess. That'll let you sledge up double all the opponents and get the audience twice as excited. The venue will be so hot it'll melt Montanavera's snow. Once you get the audience worked up and ready to go, that'll be the cue for our leader to take the stage. That's how you pass our gym test, yo. Your opening act begins as soon as you get up on stage. There'll be no backing down until you win three times in a row, so make sure you're ready. So weird that there's been no double battles this entire game up until now. I completely forgot it's a thing. You good on the deets for the opening act in our gym test? Ready to sludge him up? Sweet, just play it by ear. You'll do great. Head up on the stage. Gym test. Warm up the audience for Rhyme's concert. Yeah, doubles are a gimmick now. 
What's up, Montenevera? Today's opening act will be three back-to-back -back double battles by our challenger here, Michael. And the first of their three opponents will be a young performer who makes it look like a breeze. Everyone says the hikers look like like critical, and that's why I'm doing that voice. And apparently, he says he says something very close to the meme in uh in this part. I, I remember seeing a screenshot of it. The one, the only Tess. Double battles. That means one plus one, right? Can you do that math? One word, surf. Yeah, but that would also hit my partner, wouldn't it? One plus one is two, right? Right? Oh, they'll be fine. <laughs> Get all the grievered. Oh no, hound, those are hound stones. Never mind. The audience, is, the audience is cheering. Got a little louder. Monte Nevera stage is all the latest tech. The more excited the audience gets, the more the stage will light up. Keep on sledging. You got this. And our challenger's next opponent will be a musician with a bit of a unique style. It's Lunny. Strong compliments. Weak. The harmony of two battle, two Pokemon battling in unison. Ugh. Reckon this. That wasn't Harmy, it was Cacophony. Would they make Haunter darker purple? Oh, hell yeah, that's much better. I think it might be the lighting. Yance is getting really excited. Your opening acts turn up the cheering and the stage lighting up to 11. What a surprise from our new challenger. Who would have thought they'd sludge it up this much? Next is your next last opponent, and it's another than me, MC Sledge. Being an MC isn't my only forte. I can battle too. I'll sludge you up real good in a double battle. Pumping. Oh wait, no, back out. One eight KOs in a row. It was you who sledged me up. The audience's excitement has reached a fever pitch. Whoa, awesome! That was a great battle! How lucky! That was a rare sight! 
Thank you, Michael. Congratulations, you passed the gym test. Give him a round of applause, everybody. I feel, I feel a scary good sense of unity in the crowd. Perfecto. We're ready for the main event. Come on, everybody, say it with me. Look, there it is. This is what you've all been waiting for. <laughs> Give it up for the MC of RIP, Rhyme. He said the thing. The localizers must have known. What's all this noise I'm hearing? The crowd's so loud it could wake the dead. Let me tell you what I want to hear. Y'all feeling good? Yeah, we're feeling good. Rhyme, rhyme, rhyme. Woo! Thanks for the killer opener, baby. Now I'll get this started for real. Congrats on the gym test. That was sick, yo. Thanks. Give us a in for some rhyme time, you feel me? Go ahead and tell the lobby staffer you passed. Oh, I actually can't, like... Oh, it's all by the gym leader. Go talk to the lobby staffer. Amazing job, Michael. You were a fantastic opening act. That's the gym test cleared, then. Well done. You now earn the right to challenge the gym leader. Best of luck. You ready to challenge gym leader Rhyme, the MC of RIP? Very well. Allow me to show you to the battle court. Final gym fight. Here we go. Yo, yo. Sounds like there might be a rap battle going on with the stage. This is my time and this is my day. You're not going to stand in my way. Listen up, Rhyme. Your reign, your reign ends here. You're going to get rung up by this pro cashier. Boom, ch boom, boom, ch boom. Pro cashier, well, I'm about to check out. Must have got your rhymes on deep discount. Please, you think you could step my game? Fool, I got rhyme right there in my name. I'm a specter from which there's no protector, and victory unto me will render when the crowd sees you're a mere pretender. Couldn't keep that meter going. You want to end my reign? Yeah, keep dreaming. You buy a book of rhymes, kid, and start reading. I'm done. You won. My rhymes totally whiffed, but I'll be back. Maybe after my next shift. Hold up, where are you going? That's all you got? Oh, she's got those angry, the angry pupil, uh, uh, eyeless eyes. After my next shift? Seriously, bars over jokes, come on. That was over way too fast. It gets boring wearing the crown if no one makes me fight to keep it. Hmm? Hey, my opener's back. You here for a rap battle or a gym battle? I'm here for a rap battle. Ha, <laughs> you got jokes. We both know why you're really here. You were captivated by that show I put on, huh? I rap what's in my soul, baby. We've been words in a symphony of poetry. Don't try it with me. You won't last one round. I'm like Sableye. My mean look will lock you down. Like that? You feel me? Yeah. Well, let's get to it. You're a Pokemon trainer, so battle me and show me who you are. My music's not all that tops the charts. My skills with ghost types are the best around. Lest you forget, the name is Rhyme, and I'm known as the MC of R.I.P. Dead or alive, let's make this a vibe. The Net and Mimikyu. She probably has a Gengar. We don't mess around in Monte Nevera. On my stage, we double battle. Don't let it scare ya. She's got four Pokemon. Alright, so... Already, we're gonna have to, uh... She's 
she's gonna go first. Uh, Carmen's gonna go first, so. Show us an awesome battle, Ryman. You too, student kid. I'm pretty sure Rhyme is supposed to be the 6th gem, and I'm doing it 8th, so... This probably isn't gonna be any bit challenging. Nice, he totally nailed that Pokémon's weakness without battling it- without batting an eye! What if all of her moves are telegraphed with Rhymes? Her hair has a hand, yeah. Time to take you out to lunch, Benet, you sucker punch. Good do doggo has gone down. And Mimikyu's down. Your youthful powers are a threat, but the party's still going. I haven't lost yet. Toxtricity. Oh, that makes a lot of sense, honestly. One of Rhyme's Pokémon went down. Woo, this is so exciting. Three of her Pokémon went down. What's causing that to happen? I don't know why their stats keep going up. <laughs> Kick back, relax, and enjoy this last track. Turn it up for a grave rattling good time. I'm in the mic, even the dead rise up. DJ G Rave over there is sure feeling it. And done. If the ghost's not really my style. I'll let you have this one, though, baby. Don't worry, you get to... I think you do get to refight the gym leaders in the post-game, so... They will be... They will be a lot stronger, because they will have full six teams. She didn't stand a ghost of a chance, yeah. <laughs> uh, it's low-hanging fruit, but it's good. Ha! <laughs> Great battle. Chillin' and thrillin'. You got spirit, kid. You earned my gym badge, all right. How about a VIP pass for my next show, too? With the gym badges, you'll be able to catch Pokémon of any level, and they'll be sure to listen to what you have to say, too. I'm feeling so good that I think I'm also going to let you have this. Shadow Ball. We, we, we roll whatever Shadow Ball does. Too bad it's over. Make your way up to my stage sometime. Maybe next time we rap battle instead. Who knows? I'm sure you've got some scary good adventures ahead. I'll be cheering for you. Later. Rhyme City was the setting of Detective Pikachu, yeah. That was R-I-M-E, though. She was R-Y-M-E. And then the math teacher at the academy is her sister. Michael, Polipper. Why, why call out my Polipper? You did it. Oh, I'm so happy for you. This is the best. I know I said I wasn't worried, but my heart was still pounding the whole time. Most impressive, Michael. A shiny display of talent, I must admit. Seriously, pat yourself on the back. You beat every single gym. Which means... Indeed. 
Now that you've gathered eight gym badges, all that's left is to take on the Pokémon League. If you hope to stand alongside Nimona as a fellow champion, head to the Pokémon League. That is where you can take the champion assessment. Yes, I know, I've been there. Yeah, hurry up and get to my rank. I'm itching for a battle of equals. Gotta take my time when you're f while you're facing the Pokémon League to fine-tune my Pokémon's move moves. Excuse me. And revamp all my tactics. Her Japanese name is Lime. Oh, interesting. Well, good luck, Michael, and wish me luck, too. It's unusual for me to see her so excited, though perhaps not for you. She must really be happy that she finally has a friend who could keep pace with her own talents. There's a special kind of strength that can only be reached by competing with a good rival. Count me among those eager to see how far you two can go. In any case, I'll be waiting for you at the Pokémon League, northwest of Mesa Goza. Congratulations, you're now certified by the Monte Nevera Gym. Only one more spot in the map to do. Gita's outfit's interesting, yeah. Challenge the Pokemon League to claim the title of champion. I don't know if we have time to do that. I only have, like, I can only go for maybe, like, another 10, 15 minutes. But that's also not enough time to get over here and do this as well. Exploring all this is going to happen off stream. I'm sure the final gate is somewhere in here, too. We know that gate 3 is right there. But I still don't have enough stakes pulled to get them. I also have the last set of classes unlocked. But also, that's going to lead to uh, finals happening as well. Yeah, I've been here like four times. I took the exam and you guys flunked me. Hello, Michael. So this is it. You decided to face the Pokemon League. The final test you must be passed to become a champion. Is held here in this building. I wish you the best of luck from the bottom of my heart, Michael. I look forward to meeting you again soon. Hair does not quit. I'm guessing what's going to happen is I'll fight the Elite Four and then Nimona will challenge me as, as a fellow champion. And that'll be the end of this route. Just like Arvin challenged me at the end of his route. And then it'll be like, oh, well, it's not the end of the game yet. You still have to do the other route. And then it's going to wait until I get Penny on my side as well. And then take me to Area Zero. Let's see here. Michael from Naranja Academy, is it? It appears you have a total of eight gym badges. Very well. You may now proceed to the interview room. I wonder if the questions will be different now that I have all of them. Turn of the tense music. Thank you for coming today. Please, do have a seat. Slide over to the chair. Irika will be your interviewer. Let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. We will begin the inter we begin with the interview. First things first, let me see how many gym badges you have. Excellent, you have all eight. Next, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if you wouldn't mind, Michael. Please think carefully, as you may automatically fail the interview, depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? In my flying taxi. Very good, very good. Please tell me the name of the school you're enrolled in. Manzana Academy, Naranja. Oh, they have the one from Violet here, Uva. 
Ah, that's right. So what brings you to the Pokemon League today? I came to catch Pokemon just for fun, I guess. I came to become a champion. Yes, indeed. Why else would you be here, I suppose? Now what do you intend to do if and when you become champion? I want to become even stronger. I see. Interesting. Tell me, which of the eight gyms give you the most difficulty? Uh, none of them. They were all easy as shit. I would say Cascarafa, just because getting to the fight there was annoying as hell. I see. And what was the name of the last gym? And what was the name of the gym leader you faced there? Uh, it was Kofu, right? So I can't tell. That's not how you run a league. I'm glad you seem to remember. But do you remember which type of Pokemon Kofu used? Water. Wonderful. Building the skills needed for a champion assessment is no small feat. You must have met a lot of Pokemon to get here, Michael. Don't ask me how many. What was the category of Pokemon you chose to first be your partner? The Fire Croc. Very good, very good. Now please forgive me, but I'm going to repeat a previous question. Remind me, what do you intend to do if and when you become a champion? I want to become even stronger. Ah uh, yes, that's right. Next is the final question for this interview. Do you like Pokemon, Michael? Yes, of course I do. Good job, kiddo. That about wraps up the interview. Now let me be the first to congratulate you, Michael. You just passed the first part of the champion assessment. On your first try, too, no less. Don't think anyone's done that since Nimona. So I want to know what happens if you say no, you just fail. But anyway, time to switch gears and get ready for the next segment. The second segment is what we call the Elite Test. And you'll be facing the Elite Four in Pokemon Battles. This is your first try? No, it isn't. <laughs> it isn't my first try. It's my first try since getting all eight badges. They don't interview... The whole thing is that they don't interview you seriously if you don't have all eight. Instead, they give you, like, a fake interview. Which was mostly different questions from what I was just asked. I guess it's pretty obvious from the name of the test, huh? Anyway, we're the best the league has to offer. You'll be facing us four in a row. No turning back. This won't be a cakewalk, I promise you that. Make sure you're all ready, then go into the room behind me. Once you're ready for the elite test, go in the room behind me. Oh, you can't actually turn back here. As much as I would love to do this tonight, I think I'm going to have to stop. Which also means I cannot do any more between now and tomorrow. We've made a great deal of progress tonight. Again, I didn't start as early as I wanted to, and I might have to hoof it a little bit tomorrow, but I think what we could do tomorrow, assuming I start early enough, finish this finish this storyline, take the last set of classes, finish the Team Star storyline, and then finish the game. There's only one more badge to get, and then I enter the, uh, the end game. And if I play my cards right, I should be able to finish this tomorrow if I start early enough. 
And God help me if I don't, because I really don't want this to wait until I come back from vacation. Uh, let me... Alright, I guess that's gonna be it for tonight. Thank you so much for coming. I appreciate every single one of you. You know it. I say it to you every night, but... You know, I gotta I got say it. I gotta remind myself, and I gotta say it to everyone. Uh, but yes, yes, thank you. Thank you so much for coming. Uh, if you want to watch more streams, check out twitch.tv slash team slash wildabandon. Plenty of people streaming there right now. I'll be back tomorrow for one last double stream of this. And then I'm off for a whole week. You all have a great evening. Take care. And I will see you tomorrow. <laughs>